sermon brought to you by the CSA, the Chosen Soldiers of the Almighty. I'm Jerry Martin Gibson. I'm still witness. I'm Shane Paul Gibson. <laughs> the one today is called Thou Shalt Not Bear False Witness. Uh, that one has been totally ruined for years now. We're going to tell you a little bit about how it has happened. Steele is going to give you the scripture on it. Uh, people say they love Jesus and obey the commandments and most of them are get broken. We're going to show you how bad this one is broken. In Exodus uh, chapter 20, verse 16, it says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Now, if it's not true, it's false. Agreed? It ain't A, B, C, or D. It's true or false. So if it's not true, it is false. America was founded on God, the one true living God, and Jesus Christ, and it was founded on the truth. They used to quote, So help me God. And they meant it. But now, uh, after the country has been around for a while, we have a civil war show up and things really start to take shape then. Shane's got some information on that. It's called revisionism. After the civil wars, when the downf downfall of America really got started, you see, the whoever wins in history writes the history books. The history is written by the victors. There's no doubt about that. So the South was just a whole bunch of guys fighting to defend their country and what they believed. So when they got ended up losing the war, the North rewrote all the history books, painted them out to be a whole bunch of racists who just was all against the black man. Well, around that time, all the new versions of the Bible start showing up. Everybody and their neighbors coming up with a new version of the Bible so they can get some money off of the copyrights. A and lie. A lie. Revising God's pure word. What was wrong with it for the past 400 years? Absolutely nothing. Steele now has some things, uh, some of the things that started popping up in America. Uh, we're going to show you how little lies become big lies and, and grow in uh, amount and size. Uh, we're going to start off, we're probably going to kick a lot of your idols here. Uh, you can repent and get over it. That's what we're here to try to help you do. But still, take it away with some of the biggest lies in America, little ones that become huge. Well, one of the biggest lies was we teach our kids about Santa Claus. And there is no such thing as Santa Claus. It's a lie from the beginning. Whatever your intentions are to make your kids happy or whatever it is, it's a lie, and you're lying to your kids, and you need to repent from that. It's hard to kill your, uh, kill these lies, but you need to do it. Uh, Satan Claus <laughs> is uh, trying to impersonate Jesus Christ. It says he's dressed in red uh, with white hair and a beard. He's a carpenter from the north, like, <laughs> like Jesus was a carpenter. He comes down the chimney and lands in a fireplace, Revelation 1, 15, in chapter 10, verse 1. He's omniscient. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. Santa Claus is not omniscient. There is no Santa Claus. Jesus Christ is omniscient. Amen. Amen. 400 churches in England are named after him. He's eternal. Thank God he lives forever, 10 times 10,000 years from now. From yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He has books with which to judge. Does he now? He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty and nice. <laughs> he's looking at the books and judging you. He's impersonating Jesus Christ. From Miracle on 34th Street, Maureen O'Hara, the mother, said, You must believe in Chris Kringle and keep right on believing. You must have faith in him. Natalie Wood, the daughter, replied, I do believe, I do believe Mr. Kringle is Santa Claus. It's a lie. Repent. Don't tell your kids this nonsense. You start off with a little lie, they grow into big lies. You teach your kids to be liars and not believe in the one true God, Jesus Christ. Yep. You know what happens when you tell a lie, you got to follow it up with a whole bunch of lies. Amen. And the father of lies, you know who that is, it's Satan. Go... The Bible tells you in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44, it says, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, 
because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Churches are going around teaching lies. It's All you get is lies in the churches. No scripture or actual sound doctrine. They don't want any of that. Instead, you go to vacation Bible school and they're teaching them veggie tales and uh, made up uh, snowman or something, Frosty the snowman or somebody they've made up. What's wrong with all the stories in the Bible? There's plenty of them in here. You could go all all summer long and never run out of stories in the Bible. They're true. They're true. They don't know those though because they haven't read it. Amen. Amen. Now, Steele has got us some scripture for you over in Second Timothy. He's going to read for you a few verses here. And uh, I hope you don't get mad at us. I know we'll lose quite a few people that get infuriated. But uh, I've had some people get infuriated at me for telling their children there, there was no Santa Claus. How could you do that? How could you do that? Hey, man. Truth don't, hurts. Don't get mad at me for not upholding your lie. I'm not going to uphold your lie. None of them. If there's one thing I did right in raising my children, I never lied to them one time about anything. Because God put on my heart before they were born. Times are going to get so tough, Jerry. You better be honest with those kids because here's what's going to happen. It's going to become hard to believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. It's going to become hard. So teach them the truth. And that way they will know when in question about the Lord Jesus Christ. Is he real or not? Is that book true or not? They will always know this. Daddy never lied to us about nothing. So it's true. There's no doubt. With other, so many other children, they've been lied to about the tooth fairy, the Easter bunny, the reindeer, the Grinch. Frosty. Oh, uh, you name them all. All of them they've been lied to. And now when it comes to Jesus Christ and is Jesus true, eh, probably a lie too. They lied about everything else. See my point? If you are lying to your children, repent from it. Turn from it. Uh, have you got that scripture for us uh, there still? Yeah, why are things going to get harder? It says right here, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 9. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be made shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. The point we're trying to make is you start down the road of lying, it becomes worse and worse, and uh, little lies become big lies until it becomes where the whole country is a country of liars. And that's pretty much what we've got. The truth is darn hard to find in America anymore. And it, when the truth, when lies are, are put out there so much, it becomes where the truth isn't welcome. And when you get a country where the truth isn't welcome, then Jesus Christ isn't welcome because he is the truth. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man, no woman cometh to the Father but by him. Nobody. Got it, Larry? Amen. Trust in Jesus today. He's your only hope.